app activated. Deactivated. CC Corp. There's a good chance they'd know something normal players wouldn't. No matter how insignificant it might be, as long as I can get some information on Shino and Triedge, I don't care. Kuhn's waiting for me in the mercenary district. I'd better hurry.
I'm supposed to meet Kuhn in the mercenary district. Hey there, Haseo. Ah. What? What's with the scary face? You mad at me or something? Nothing. Just hurry up and take me to this raven place. Um, you don't like me, do you? Get real. Okay, so, let me explain it to you. The at-home is a specialized room that each guild has in the game. And guilds are comprised of individual players that form their own group. To put it simply, a guild is like a baseball team, and at-home is like the team dugout, where everybody hangs out while playing the game. It doesn't matter to a solo player like me. Let's go. Hold it. Actually, it does matter to you. Listen, buddy. To get into At Home, you need a pass called a Guild Key for that guild. So, here you go. Take it. Alrighty, let me officially welcome you to our guild, Rape. Haseo, make yourself comfortable. <sighs> You're the old hag from the other day! <sighs> huh? You two know each other? Of course not. <laughs> this is Pi. She's a member of Raven like me. And Pi, this is... I get it now. So that thing the other day was all just to invite me here. Well, get this, Granny. You can try to seduce me. But old hags don't interest me. I get the creeps just picturing you in real life. What? Get this guy out of here right now, Coon. 
don't care if he is a chosen one. We can't leave our task to someone like this. Unfortunately, Pai, I'm afraid that decision is up to Yata. Yata? There's no need to involve Master Yata. What's a Yata? A person? You be quiet. Kuhn, I'm sure that you can understand. Yes, he's here. What? Alone? Are you sure? But sir, he's... I understand. Come with me. Master Yada will see you now. What is this place? It's pretty bleak, that's for sure. <sighs> Welcome to the Serpent of Lore, Haseo. It took you quite a long time to get here. I've been waiting for you. Are you the Yata that Kuhn and the Hag were talking about? Nice setup. So, is this an administration-only area? I've heard of them, but I didn't know they actually existed. You sure it's alright to let a regular player like me in here? Won't your boss get mad at you, Mr. Admin? Nice to meet you. Though it feels very strange to be saying that to you. I have been watching you for quite some time. Huh? There has been a development in the world that defies the system parameters. One of the effects, or perhaps I should say targets of that development, is that there are a variety of phenomena manifesting in the world. You yourself have experienced one of these developments, the forced reformatting of your character data. You've been spying on my... on Haseo's past! Who in the hell gave you the right to... You are the one who called me an admin, right? To administer means to observe, to protect, and to manage. Both Triage and the phenomena that happened to you are under my administration. We have only upheld the obligations of our job. <sighs> a bug that is not a bug. Ideally, that kind of phenomena would never exist in the world. But, as you can see, it indeed does exist. Our overall designation for this phenomena is Ida. Ida? Huh? For now, none of the general users of the game know anything about it. That is somewhat to be expected at its current level. However, you have already encountered it. And you have seen firsthand the sort of threat and danger it possesses. You have seen it and experienced it yourself. 
Fry Edge. The name of the skill he had used on you is called Data Drain by us. Data Drain? Whatever it is, I've never heard of a skill that can actually lower your lep. You already understand what I am referring to. That Tri-Edge is a phenomena that defies system parameters. You mean Tri-Edge is Ida? Perhaps. We cannot deny the possibility. Don't give me that! How the hell could an admin not know a single reason for a bug's existence? Investigating a bug that's not a bug is difficult. Likewise, we are also investigating what happened to the character known as Shino, as well as her player. Uh, what? So, you guys knew all along that the real-life Shino is in a coma? We would like to try and understand what the connection is between an online PK and a player becoming comatose before this little problem of ours has time to become public knowledge. Uh, what are you talking about before it becomes public knowledge? Are you just trying to cover it up for yourselves? It's all your fault that she know that she's gone. I'm afraid that is not true. It is not our fault that she became comatose after the incident. The one that injured her, as well as the one that leveled you down, is Triedge. Isn't that correct? You guys are responsible for letting it happen! Then, are you saying that we should have shut down the game entirely? I do not believe so. After all, the key that is needed to solve the riddle of Ida, Triedge, and the comatose players is right here in this game, the world. We share a common interest. Are you telling me to cooperate with you? I don't get it. How is my cooperation gonna help you guys out? It's simple. The only thing we want from you, Haseo, is the power that is hidden inside of your character. Your character was especially created by CC Corporation for their past project. Power? Project? You mean, my character is somehow special? That's correct. You are a chosen one. Uh huh? Characters like yours are known as epitaph users. Kuhn and Pi are epitaph users as well. At this point, the only ones capable of combating Ida's are you epitaph users. So this character's one of them, huh? This better not be some really elaborate new event or something. In other words, you're telling me that you guys need me to help you with debugging the game, right? As I made clear to you earlier, we want nothing more than to contain these unruly phenomena. And the only things that can do that are in fact the avatars. And avatars are an epitaph user's power, right? Yes. But I don't know how to use anything like that. That is because your avatar has not awakened yet. So then basically, I just have to learn to use that puppet thingy. 
If I can learn to use that, then I can go up against Triage. Shino. If I help you guys out, I'll be able to use those Avatar things, right? Of course. It would be rather troublesome for us if you could not. Sure thing. I'll help you out. But I won't take any orders from anyone. Understand? That is my only condition. Wait! It's dangerous for a player like him to gain that kind of power! Master! He's telling you to be quiet, you old hag. Why are you using a player like him? His avatar would have eventually awakened, with or without our help. You must already know that, as you can see and feel, his epitaph has already started to awaken within him. I heard you've joined GU. Glad to have you with us. GU? Oh, didn't Yata explain it to you? The guild name that we use, Raven, is just a front. What our group is really called is GU. What's that? I heard it was a project name for CC Corp or something. Whatever. I don't care. I just need you to hurry up and tell me how to summon my avatar. How to summon the avatar, huh? Come on already. I'm in a hurry here. <laughs> Sorry. Um, correct me if I'm wrong here, but... Are you thinking that there's some specific spell to summon an avatar? There's not? Nope. But if there were... We would have it a whole lot easier. Okay then, how do you summon yours? Hmm, well, I think it would probably be better just to show you while we're out adventuring. Wouldn't you agree? Then let's go. It doesn't matter what area it is, right? Well, yeah, I suppose that's true. But, unfortunately, I've got an appointment to keep. I'll be sure to contact you later. Hey, wait! Damn it. What the hell? <sighs> oh well. I guess I'll just head on back to town then.
Are you having fun running into me? <laughs> what? Please, help me! First, get off of me! Move! Now what do I do? I mean, I was supposed to open up the shop together with Syllabus. But when we finally went to open the shop up, there wasn't close to being enough inventory in our storage. What are we gonna do? There's no time left. What should we do? Our customers will be here any minute now. Are they rare items? No. I need to restock on. Let me think. Ten black beans and ten almond jelly. Ten Asian mangoes and ten caramel sauces. Yeah, I think that's what we're missing right now. Aren't those sold in other shops? Just buy some and sell them yourselves. Oh, you're right. Then, then, then... Haseo, come on! Help me buy all the supplies that we need. Huh? Why do I have to help you? Here's the money, Haseo. I said I'm not doing this. Oh, come on, Haseo. You go buy and deliver the Asian mangoes and the caramel sauces to Syllabus when he gets here in the Central District, okay? Great, thank you so much for your help. Kidding? How did I get involved in all of this? Ah, uh, the hell with it. I guess I'll help them out. Just this one time. Let's see. I need 10 Asian mangoes and 10 caramel sauces. And then give them to Syllabus in the Central District Town Square when he gets here.
Got him! Thanks a lot for helping us out, Haseo. Once Gaspard gets here, we'll be all set. Hey, what are you guys doing? Oh, I guess you've never done it before. Done what? Well... Manage a shop. Want me to explain how it works? Not really. Come on, Haseo. I think it would be good for you to learn what normal players do. Well, anyway... Gaspard sure is taking his time shopping for all of this. I wonder what's up with him. Hmm? What? It's a short mail from Gaspard. Apparently he got lost. Man, could that guy get any dumber? I've got to go find him. Let me tell you, I'm not moving an inch. Great. See you when I get back. Huh? Will you do me a favor? Watch over the shop while I'm out there looking for Gaspard. D don't be ridiculous! Just go ahead and close it down while you're gone! I can't do that. Our best customers will be here soon. So what? Just leave me out of this. You don't have anything to do, right? Or are you just afraid of dealing with the customers? What? Like hell I am. You'll be fine. Manners are very important even online. Remember to greet them properly. What am I, a preschooler? See ya. I'm off to look for Gaspard. <sighs> How did I get stuck doing this? Excuse me. <clears throat> well, welcome! see. It looks like we've got just one. It's 6,000 GP. Hmm? So? What? Do you want it or not? Oh, yeah, sure. But I don't have enough money for it. You don't? Then I can't sell it to you. I was asked to watch over the shop, you know. I've got to do the job the right way. If you want something, you'll have to save up for it. I did save, but oh, it looks like it's all gone now. Your money's gone? Hey, don't you even remember how you spent your own money? No, I don't know. After all, it was Saku's turn up until yesterday. What? Saku's turn? Saku is my big sister. And, well, Saku was the one who was using this character yesterday. So then basically, you and your sister share that character by taking turns playing. Yeah. And you're telling me that your sister used all of the money that you had been saving up to buy it. What a great sister. No, really. It's fine. I was just going to buy her a birthday present with that money anyway. It's no big deal. Birthday? Yeah, you see, we're twins, so it's actually my birthday as well. Your birthday, huh? Fine. Then I guess I'll give you a discount. Oh, really? Yeah, and give my best to your sister. Okay. Thank you so much! Uh, 
Uh, by the way, my name is Bo. Uh, I, I promise that I'll pay you back the next time I come here. Uh, okay, Haseo? So she's Saku and he's Bo. So Saku and Bo, huh? Hello! Welcome to. Uh, it's you. Well, this is unexpected. <laughs> I never would have thought that you'd do these kinds of things, Haseo. <sighs> but your smile and the greeting that you gave to that boy was perfect and natural. <sighs> Maybe you work in a retail store in real life. Or like at a video rental place or something. Jeez, you're annoying. If you're not gonna buy anything, shut up and get lost. How rude. I will buy something. I'll be sure to make my contribution to the shop acorn. I wonder why I'm not the least bit excited about that. Hey, so what do you recommend? See? Not bad, huh? Guild shops have a pretty decent selection to choose from. Wow, you're totally right. And everything's so much cheaper here than it is at the NPC shops. To be honest, I didn't really want to bring you ladies here. Aww, why not? Because then your eyes and attention will be rooted to something else other than me. And I just can't help but try and monopolize your beautiful eyes for as long as I possibly can. Oh, Cooney! Now don't worry about anything. One thing's for certain, I only have eyes for you! Please, don't look at me with those passionate eyes of yours. If you keep looking at me with such a beautiful gaze like that, I just know that I'll be forever b b <clears throat> bound to you. <laughs> yo, Haseo. Long time no see. What do you mean, yo, you jerk? You sure look like you're having fun with the ladies there, Cooney. Oh no, this is just... Well... I've got an appointment to keep. Did I really say that? While you are off flirting with all of those women, I have been stuck here in this shop. I've been... Hurry up! Let's go play already! It's the Guildmaster! Wow, Coon! You're really popular, aren't you? Um, yeah. Okay! I'll email you guys and girls later. Okay, see you then. Hey! So, Kuhn used to be part of your guild, and he was the guild master. Our guild name, Canard, comes from the stabilizer wings on airplanes. Actually, we chose that guild name because we thought it really represented Kuhn's dream. To support first-time players of the world and help them relax and enjoy it. When I got lost, it was Kuhn that helped me. He was the one who rescued me. He taught us lots of ways to enjoy the game. I mean, you know how they say that the beginning to anything is key, right? I'm sure we wouldn't be playing like we are now if we hadn't... if we hadn't met Kuhn when we did. I wonder, if I hadn't been PK'd on my very first encounter the first day I logged into this game, if I hadn't met Ovan then, and if I hadn't met Shino... If we hadn't come across Triage, would I be laughing and enjoying this game like these guys are right now? Uh, what's wrong, Haseo? Oh, nothing. Of course, now that Kuhn is gone, there was no one around to organize Canard. So, why did he leave? I'm not really sure why, but... He said something about not wanting to get us involved. Mm-hmm. And here I was, thinking that he was kicked out of the guild for flirting too much. 
Oh, that. That's Kuhn's illness. If we worried about it, we'd never be able to keep up. An illness, huh? <laughs> what? Kuhn is sick? Well, it's not life-threatening. Nothing you have to worry about. You! You're still here? Yeah. Well, you never told me to leave. Stop standing in my blind spot! Oh, so... This is the Terror of Dust blind spot, huh? Ugh. Now, now. Anyway, thanks for watching the store, Haseo. Yeah, sure. Business kind of sucked, though. Not at all. Oh, yeah. Do you have any idea what Haseo did while you were gone? What are you guys chatting about? Oh, you gave a little boy a birthday present? Wow, you're such a nice guy, Haseo. Yeah, I guess you are. Damn girl. Ugh, she really needs to learn how to shut up and... You see that? Everyone really does want to treat other people nicely. I think it's because people can be more honest online than they can in real life. Hey, Haseo, why don't you officially join Canard? Huh? I mean, I think you've got some real leadership skills. And I second that thought. Come on, let's do this together. I think it's a great idea. Just act like you did before. Okay, fine, fine. But it'll be a name only. You got it? Hey, I'm a very busy guy. All right, it'll take a little time to process you, but you should get an email later on. Okay, then. Glad to have you, Haseo, our new guildmaster. Yay! <laughs> Haseo is our new guildmaster! Congratulations, Haseo! Wait, what's this about guildmaster? Like I said before, you have some real leadership skills, Haseo. Oh, this is your reward for watching the store. Here, see ya. Bye. I'll see you later. Now then, I better be going too. Go, leave already. Today we're having a meeting at Moon Tree to help the victims of trading fraud. Would you like to join too? No way. <laughs> see you later then. Oh, you're finally here. Then let's get going. The area words for our destination are Delta Great Cursed In-Laws. What? The old hag's coming too? Well, because there's no guarantee we won't come across any danger. Huh. You coming? Hurry up and invite me already.
Don't panic. Here's our chance! Feel like losing today. I guess we win. It 
All right, we're here. So, let's get this started. Tell me, how the hell do you summon an avatar? You really are a brat, aren't you? Is that how you ask someone to help you? Your boss is the one who put me in GU. Shouldn't you guys be asking for my help? You damn! How dare you speak of Master Yada like- Okay, okay, that's enough. Listen. We didn't come here to fight, you two. I know that. Yada already told you, but let's recap. Our characters were originally created by CC Corporation several years ago as part of a project. That's what the Epitaph users are, right? So why does this make our characters so special? That's a CC Corp secret. Non-disclosure agreement? Actually, I don't know the answer to that. What about you, Pi? <laughs> anyway, Epitaph users are characters that have the ability to use avatars. To put it roughly, it's kind of like a transformation of your character data in the game. The power of an avatar can be surmised as an alteration of data. Altering data? You mean data drain? Yep. That's one of the abilities an avatar has. Try edge use data drain to put me back to level one. So, he's an epitaph user too? But wait, he didn't use an avatar. Then what the hell is he? Man, I'm getting confused. By activating their data altering abilities, epitaph users are able to gain powers that far surpass the parameters included in the original game design. But that doesn't mean they can do anything. There are certain restrictions governing Epitaph users as well. Soon, you'll come to understand that. So to summon avatars, I just have to understand those rules? Basically. How? It's right here. Huh? Inside your heart, the player's own feelings and willpower are the origins of avatars. Yeah, right. Epitaph users are still just characters in a game, though, right? How does a bunch of binary data get influenced by feelings and will? Epitaph users' characters are different from normal characters. Different how? We're linked to our characters, not just through our controllers and goggles, but through our hearts as well. Haven't you ever felt something like that, Haseo? When would I have felt that? 
Wait a minute. What the? Something is. Something is starting to. It's. It's growing. Let's hurry up and begin your lesson. Begin? You want to learn how to summon your avatar, don't you? Of course. Then, we'll battle here until you get it. Huh? Battle? Yes. Battles are the quickest way for you to sharpen your consciousness. And that will help you to awaken your avatar. Huh. So basically, you guys don't really know the proper way to do this, do you? <laughs> You've got us there. For Pi and me, the entire process was more like an accident when we awakened our avatars. But that accident was fate. For now, let's fight this field's boss. Your guard's down!
You're mine! How should we handle this? This is it! Alright! I'll finish it! That was nothing. Oh well, wonder if I have enough chim spheres for it. Course unknown, fuel insufficient, function shut passing, life form detected. Hey bro, be a bud, give me some chim sphere, please.
Don't be careless. But how the hell am I supposed to activate the power? Try to figure that much out for yourself. Keep the image of summoning an avatar in your mind. Okay. The image of summoning an avatar. Summoning an avatar. I'll summon you, avatar. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Come on! <laughs> Haseo? Hey! Huh? Don't panic! Nothing. Haseo, are you doing okay? Hmm? I said shut up! I'm concentrating. I will summon it, so just shut up and watch! Seo, you have reached your limit. Let's call it a day. What's going on? Why won't my avatar appear? Uh, well... Maybe the problem's your lack of talent. What did you say? Even if you are one of the Epitaph users, if you, the player, don't know how to use it, well, then it's pointless. Yeah, right. You two just aren't teaching me the right way. Listen, if you guys can't even keep your promise to me, then the deal that I had with GU is off. Idiot. If you can't summon an avatar, then we don't need you to help us now. <clears throat> Come on, Pi. That's enough. Let's just call it a day, all right? All right. Let's head back, okay?
Don't worry about it. We don't expect you to awaken that easily. Better luck next time. <sighs> anyway, just rest up for now. When you've got your stamina back, we'll give it another shot and try again. Well, see ya. Frankly, I'm glad that you weren't able to summon your avatar. Kuhn and I. Now do you understand why we needed two Epitaph users to support you? No. It's so we'll have enough power to suppress your avatar in the event it should go out of control or something. Suppress? Yes. If your avatar went berserk, we would not have hesitated to use Data Drain on you. In order to stop you. No matter what effect it may have had on you. Well, that's just cruel. Is it? Great risk comes with strength that is too powerful. Huh? Neither Kuhn nor myself can completely control the power of our avatars. Power that has escaped its user's hand will do nothing but destroy. This power really shouldn't even be used at all in the first place. But you, you plan to use that power. Am I wrong? If you had gotten your avatar, you would be thrilled to use it. Even if it was the exact same power that hurt those that are most precious to you. You seem to know me well. Well, of course I do. It comes natural to me, don't you see? You and I are very much alike. Huh? I think it would be best if you didn't get involved in these matters anymore. Summoning an avatar won't make you happy. That I know for certain. You don't want me to get involved, huh? Well, for your information, if I could do that, I wouldn't be in the mess I'm in right now.
Guildmaster, huh? Well, I guess I'll go to at home then. Since I am the guild master after all, I should check out canards at home. Huh? Oink. An NPC? My name is Death Grunty of the Grunty Race. I'm the manager of this at home. Oink. I won't accept someone like you. Oink. Huh? Managing a guild requires good instincts and talent. Oink. I'm gonna test you to see if you've got them. Oink. Okay, I'll give you two assignments. Oink. And, if you can clear both of these assignments, I just might consider accepting you as the Guildmaster. Oink. Here's your first assignment. Oink. The three sacred treasures of the Grunty race. Grunty's hat. Grunty's shoe. Grunty's brush. You need to cooperate with your guild members to gather these. Oink. My companions hold the sacred treasures. Oink. If you get down on your knees and beg sincerely, I'm sure you can get him to lend the treasure to a lowlife like you. Boy. My companions are wandering around the city. Hurry up and find them and bring back the sacred treasures. Boy. I don't like him. I don't like this obnoxious weird rodent at all. <laughs> I guess Grunty's event started. What event are you talking about? It's the Guildmaster's certification event for our guild. When you first become a guild master, Grunty gives you an assignment. I don't want to run errands for a stupid NPC. 
But if you don't clear the event that the Grunty gave you, you'll never be able to use all of At Home's features. So, what kind of trial were you given, Haseo? He told me to find some rare items. I don't think I had a trial like that. Fine, whatever. I can get those items if I just find that thing's companions in the town, right? I'll finish this up in no time. Good luck, Haseo! We're counting on you! Welcome to the ship of twilight, Haseo Nero. I have been waiting for you to come here for a long time, Nero. So moved that you're speechless, Nero? Hmm. I know just what it is that you're looking for, Nero. It is not that hard for me to guess, Nero. Go on and take this with you, Nero. Now go and be well, Nero. sucking in my soul. Oh, you. It's so beautiful and peaceful. Oh, you. My grandma said that there's a palace for fishes at the bottom of the water. Oh, you. I'm sure there are canned tuna and smoked salmon swimming happily there. Oh, you. I want to go. Pew, you. Hmm? You want something? Oh, you. I think I smell death grunty on you. Oh, ew. The smell tells me that you want something. Who you? You want this, right? Who you? Well, goodbye. Who you? Oh, I want to go to the palace of fishes. Who you? Just thinking about it makes me drool. Who you? The sun sets again today! <laughs> How sad! <laughs> How romantic! <laughs> and with myself standing in the twilight, I am the ultimate man! <laughs> hey! You're pretty manly yourself! <laughs> but you're no match for me! <laughs> hmm? So, you want to obtain my manliness for yourself? <laughs> Sure! <laughs> There's always room to be even more manly! <laughs> First, you need to work hard until the sunset has burned itself into your eyes! <laughs>
Grunty, you're Haseo. You're late. Oink. What took you so long? You're as slow as a pig. Oink. Come on, hurry up and give me the sacred treasures. Oink. Here, I'll give you this in exchange. Oink. Here is your second assignment. Oink. Sell that item with the help of your guild members. Oink. Now get going. Oink. Perfect. You're already great at shopkeeping, Haseo. I'm not gonna be a vendor again. Well, why not? You were so good at it before. Okay then, I'll be the vendor instead. You can open up the menu if you talk to Death Grunty. Put the item that Death Grunty just handed over to you into the shop stock list. I'll do my best to try and sell the item. So just sit back and wait, Haseo. Oh, and be sure to come collect the money by stopping by the guild shop in the Central District, okay? What? What do you mean? Why do I have to go collect the money? Because it's one of your duties as the guild master. Man, what a pain. Fine then, I'll do it. kid who came to the shop the other day. Bo, right? I am so glad to see you. I wanted to give you the rest of the money, you know, that I owe you from the other day. Don't worry about that. I gave you the discount. But... Quit being stubborn. Just shut up and accept my goodwill. Thank you. I think that I... I really like that about you, Haseo. What... what the hell are you saying? <laughs> well, you know, that's just what I think anyway. <sighs> so, uh, what are you playing today? Are you a store clerk again? Well, something like that. Do you know about guild masters? Yep. Well, now I'm one. I'm in the middle of one of those events. So, you're a guild master. Way to go, Haseo! Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, then. Congratulations on completing the guild master event, Haseo! Congratulations, Haseo! Hey, you didn't have to go and buy... Jeez, it's fine, really. I just... I just wanted to help you out, Haseo. But... Just shut up and accept my goodwill, all right? <laughs> oh, I see. Goodwill, huh? Well, thanks. Thank you. 
Grunty. Oink. You're Haseo. It looks like you sold it. Oink. Now hurry up and hand over the dough. Oink. Haseo, I'll trust you about the length of a nose hair. Oink. Come on now, don't get angry. Don't get angry. It's just a stupid NPC. But I won't accept you as the guild master. Oink. I might be willing to employ you as my servant. Oink. <sighs> That's the kind of response it gave me when I became the guild master too. It's a pretty weird event. That's right. Calm down. This is just an event. It's just an event. This should be appropriate for a servant such as you. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, you pig? I'm not a pig. I'm a grunty. That charm I put on you is something you should be grateful for. It'll monitor your every little move. It's been carved inside you, so there's no way you can remove it. This way, I can tell exactly how hard you're working for my guild. Boink. It is called the Charm of 1000. Boink. All right, Haseo. Work for my guild like the workhorse that you are. Boink. Oh yeah! Hey, Haseo, you can... That's true! I'm pretty sure that the condition for getting and riding the steam bike was to clear the first Grunty event. Go on and give it a shot. It's a lot easier to move around the cities and fields with one. Give it a shot. Hello? Can you hear me? Boy. Where are you talking to me from? Don't bother looking for me. Boy. I'm using the charm I affixed to you to talk directly into your brain. Boy. Oh. Who are you to order me around? Did you say something? Boy. You can hear me? I know everything. Boy. Button guide in the lower right corner of the screen.
So, is the end? I'm so tired.
Hey, move it! Huh? Hey! What are you doing in this server, Haseo? Do you usually come to the arena? Have you ever participated in one of their events? No. Never. Whoa, really? You mean the Terror of Death has never participated? Well, PKK and arena battles have nothing to do with each other. I don't care much about showing off for the crowds and competing for ranks anyway. Actually, the arena is related to PK, in a way. Related? After CC Corp started having problems with rampant PKs, they decided to create an official place for player battles. By using the arena, they attempted to restore morale and stability to the world. But it ended up turning into just another place for all the rude players, like the player killers, to hang out. That's how it got started. Haseo, I think it would be good for you to learn a little bit more about what's going on in the world, you know? The arena has three classes. The Demon Palace, the Holy Palace, and the Sage Palace. The first class that any player can challenge is the Demon Palace. I'm surprised you like the arena so much. Oh, uh, we don't come that often. It's just that today... Hey, isn't it about to start? Let's go! Start? Hey, the Emperor of the Demon Palace is going to be participating in today's title match! Emperor? He's something of an eccentric, so he rarely fights other than to defend his title in the tournament. Wow, you're lucky, Haseo! All you bloodthirsty men, drawn to this place by the thrill of the fight! Can you hear the crowd? Can you feel their violent excitement? This is the story of the men who have come here lusting for the Emperor's throne! Let the Demon Palace title match begin! Well, it's time for the title match to begin! They have taken out opponents after opponents, and now they reach their arms up to challenge the sky itself! They look as if they're proclaiming dominance over the focus of the public! The only thing occupying the They're the challengers, the huh? All they've got going victory. on is their size. That's yes. what you think. These, These guys have actually improved quite a bit. That team's popularity is shooting through the roof. He's here! He's... the Emperor? Yep, that's the undefeated Emperor himself. Emperor Endrance. Endrance, huh? Oh, Master Ren truly is the greatest of them all. <sighs> hey, wait a second. Isn't that weird? What? What's the matter, Haseo? Why are there three challengers, but the Emperor is alone? That's what's so amazing about Entrance. He has never formed a party, not even once in his entire arena career. Is that even allowed? The arena regulations state that parties of up to three players are allowed, including the leader, that is. There's no rule that you can't participate by yourself. Of course, no one does that usually. It puts you at a huge disadvantage. <laughs> it's starting! Come on, he's just running away! He's not running. That's how Endrance always fights. First, he lets his opponents attack, apparently to find out if he can see through their attacks or something. Well, even so, he can't win if he never attacks, right? Kill him! Huh. 
so uninteresting. She gets easily bored by this ordinary type of battle. <laughs> can only be seen by Epitaph users. Haseo? No, it's nothing. Just go away. To me, you're nothing but ugly dolls. just do instant kill you mean there's a skill that can do that <sighs> that was absolutely amazing actually about halfway through everything flew way over my head I guess that must be how the expert players fight each other it looks like you understood what happened Haseo that's really impressive you did that huh that isn't a fight at all! Huh? Huh. Hey! Hey! Wait up! Entrance is... an epitaph user? Hey! I said to wait up for us! Haseo! An epitaph user together with Ida. Why? I wonder, does GU know that Entrance is an epitaph user? I can't ask them after what happened. Uh, Ovan! Well, hello, Haseo. What do you mean, hello? Ovan, you better explain yourself. I've had a lot happen to me since then, thanks to you. So, you couldn't defeat Triage. <laughs> it would seem that one cannot defeat him without stronger powers. Damn it. At this rate. Did you happen to see Endrance's fight? Yeah. Just who is that guy anyway? He's chasing an insatiable dream. Dream? In a sense, Endrance is just the same as you are. Except, in his case, he has something you lack. What does that mean? I believe that you know the answer to that better than anyone. 
I will always be waiting for you. Waiting for you to... Huh? No. Wh what I'll see you again, Haseo. Hey! Wait! Ovan! Hey, you! What the hell are you doing here? Oh, it's you. Don't you think I'm the one who should be asking that question? Don't you dare talk to me like you know me! Who do you think you are? Hmm? Sako is my big sister. She was using this character until yesterday. Oh, you're the sister. Um, hello? What are you looking at me like that for? You a freak. Ah! Oh, I got it. You're after Master N, aren't you? Forget it! I won't allow it. Master N and I are in love. And we're destined to be together forever! Who's Master N? Hmm? Hey! You surprised me when you ran off like that! <laughs> oh boy. Oh, you guys! Master N! around with Ida at the Lost Ground. Was that an avatar that you used in the fight just now? Hmm. So then you were able to see her, but nothing more than that. So you have no real power. <clears throat> you don't even have the heart to understand them. Seeing her doesn't change the fact that you're just someone in the crowd. You will grow old without ever accomplishing anything, and then you will just die and rot away into nothing. How pitiful. How truly, truly pitiful you are. Shut up! I don't have any real power! I'm just another face in the crowd? Who the hell are you to tell me that? I'll prove it. I'll show you power! And I'll defeat you! You? Defeat me? But how? <laughs> What's so funny? Impossible. It's impossible for you. Oh, it's too risky. You'll just be carried away on a... Shut up! I hate people who look down on others. I will defeat Entrance. Wow, Haseo. You really are amazing. I'd never have the nerve. But how are you going to fight against the Emperor? Hmm, I guess you'll have to fight your way through the tournament first, if you want to confront him. The tournament, huh? Hmm. Well, you've got a very long way ahead of you, Haseo. What do you mean? Well, unlike the normal free battles in the arena, tournaments are official fights, recognized and organized by CC Corp. 
Those who qualify to enter must place among the top 16 registered ranker teams in each Coliseo. It'll be hard for you to get in now. Then I have to keep winning the free battles and become a top ranker, right? You make it all sound so easy, Haseo. It'll be hard if you're not at least over level 20. You'll need a party, too. You guys will do. What? Us? Oh, no! No way! I impossible! Well, why not? Gaspard gets really bad stage fright. Just thinking about being seen by lots of people makes my hands shake and then I can't do anything at all. As for me, if you insist, I'm willing to help you out. Okay, we need one more. You know, someone with healing spells would help balance out the party. So, do you happen to know any clerics? Hmm, any clerics? What's wrong, Haseo? Nothing. We've got to have at least three people. You can participate with just two, right? Besides, that Master N guy fought by himself. Well, I know, but he is an exception. If a guy like me tried to fight alone like that, I'd be done for in no time. All right, fine. I'll see what I can do about finding the last member. If you find someone, send me an invite. See you later. A cleric. Huh. She's the only choice. But still... Guess I'll log out and try to get some information on the arena. <laughs>